Hi guys, so this is a video about my favorite products I've been using in the month of September. It's now October, so this was last month's favorite products. So we're just gonna jump right into the favorites. So first, I'm gonna do skincare. So I always use a retinol at night. This is the Ink List Retinol. This is very affordable. It's $10 at Sephora. This is like my third or fourth one. Highly recommend it. I'm pretty much almost out. And I actually just saw that they're gonna actually make a bigger size because I do go through this pretty fast. But I use this every single night. It helps with my acne. It helps with blackheads. Anti-aging, retinol is a must. The only proven products to really help anti-aging are vitamin C and retinol. But then you also wanna build that moisture barrier with peptides and then um, also exfoliate with things like 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 um, exfoliate with things like glycolic acid and just keep your skin glowing and glossy. So I use this retinol serum by the Inklos. This is about ten dollars. And then I also use a peptide eye cream by Dr. Brandon. This is expensive. Um, I actually don't remember how much this is, but it is the triple peptide eye cream. It's amazing. I put it on morning and night. It really helps my concealer not crease as much underneath my eyes. I have some very wrinkly under eyes. It's just the way my eyes are. They're protruding. I've had wrinkles under my eyes since I was like a kid. And um, I just like to use this because it keeps it nice and moisturized and then it doesn't get like pr that much product buildup and whatnot. So this is the triple peptide eye cream. I've really been into the peptide products. So I also have here the Ole Henriksen Strength Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I put this on at night. This is one of the thickest moisturizers I've ever used. It's so thick and moisturizing. I absolutely love it. And it just like a little goes a long way. It's almost like a balm, but it's a moisturizer and it's a very thick formula and I just like rub it in and it makes my face so soft and the next morning my face is just softer. Even my fingertips are softer the next morning, which is a little weird because I don't really have that. I never had that happen before with the product, but um, absolutely love mixing my retinol with my peptide moisturizer by Old Henriksen and I love my peptide eye cream and together these three have really saved my skin. My skin's become so much softer and I would say it is because of these three products. This is a hair product. This is the Truce Amino. Um, this is a detangler, hydration, heat protectant. It smells so good. I actually bought this from my hairdresser. It's available on Amazon. It's by the company Truce. Um, I got this from my hairdresser. She uses it on my hair all the time and I love the way my hair smells when I get done getting my hair done because of this product. So I was like, I need to buy this and I bought it and it smells so good. My hair has been silky smooth. This is second day hair. And this is actually my go-to second day hair hairstyle. Um, it says here it was like 30 bucks. I think it was like 30 bucks on Amazon. It's so worth it though. Uh, my fiance, she also uses this in her hair and she has really long blonde a lot of hair, but it's fine. So her hair gets really knotty, and this is an amazing detangler. And she really needs that because her hair gets tangled like crazy. My hair, not so much. I like it for the heat protection because I use, I use my Revlon um, hair dryer brush. And this is just a really good heat protectant and it makes my hair super shiny. So again, the Truce Amino lipotropic nutrients. They actually changed the bottle because I was looking to buy another one because I'm getting pretty low. They changed the bottle but it's the Truce Amino Acid um, Heat Protectant Spray. It smells phenomenal. So this is my Revlon. I don't even know what this is called. It's like a hairbrush blow dryer. I've had this for a really long time because this went viral and it was like $25 on Amazon and I didn't really use it and now I am obsessed with it. It's the only way I dry my hair. It gives me just such silky, it's the blowout. Like it just blows out your hair. My hair is super silky. It's not so much about the volume because my hair just doesn't get that much volume but my ends, like my layers, everything flows together. When I don't use this, I notice a huge difference. I just absolutely love this. I actually got my friend to buy one. She bought one too. I think it's the same one. Yeah, she did buy the same one because we almost mixed them up on our trip together. And she loves it. Um, I bring this on trips. It's actually a little bit lighter than a hair dryer, I would say. 
but it's just like it's the best you just wait for your hair to dry a little bit like 25 percent 25 percent 50 percent and then I will clip off little pieces and I will clip off the bottom half and I'll just go through it and brush it and dry it and then my hair is silky smooth and when I mix it with this the really awesome heat protectant smells so good and glossy finish it's just like the perfect hair combo so this went viral years ago and I bought it and I just didn't really use it but now I'm obsessed with it and I know exactly why people use it so highly recommend you can get it on Amazon this is like $50 on store do not buy it in store get it for $25 on Amazon so the Revlon hair blow drying brush um, next is a body wash this is the method body wash from Target this is the peony I'm only mentioning this because this is probably my fifth one um, we did buy the gray or purplish one. I think it's the lavender one. I don't know, but it wasn't as good. It just smells so floral, so fresh. <sighs> I love it. Like, when you're in the shower, this just smells amazing. It is um, biodegradable, cruelty-free, blah, 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 blah. I don't believe there's any, which I'm not sure. I hope. Okay, plant-based plant cleaners, good vibes inside very true smells phenomenal and you can get this at target i love this body wash and a little bit goes a long way you get a huge size i want to say this is like six dollars love it since we're on the body stuff i have here the tropic glow firming whipped shea body butter this is by tea tree this is supposed to be the bum bum dupe i am late to the party because i only bought this like a month ago and I bought this for my bachelorette trip and I just like I don't like I don't like Bath and Body Works lotions they leave like a residue and I was buying this Etsy homemade body um, lotion it's like goat's milk lotion and it just like absorbed my skin it made my skin so soft no residue natural fragrance and so with this I was like let me just give it a try it's pretty close there isn't much of a residue. The smell is not as clean. You know what I'm saying? Like the smells perfumous. Like it's not like um, essential oil or anything. But I really, really like this body butter. And it just, it does smell like bum bum. It's tropical. When I put this on, people are always like, what is that smell? You smell so good. It smelled like summer. It was perfect for my bachelorette trip. I cannot wait to take this to Mexico for my wedding. And it's just a really good body butter. Of course, this also went viral and I'm just late to the party, but I really, really love it and I totally approve of it because I like more natural lotions, natural shea butters, essential oils, stuff that absorbs in your skin, doesn't leave that film. And this really doesn't leave that much of a film. Like, I noticed the difference, but for a store-bought moisturizer, it's really good. Um, it does absorb and it smells amazing. And same thing with Tea Tree, I have their Pumpkin Spice Latte Shea Scrub. This is perfect for fall. So good. I love it. I just use it on my arms and my legs. And do not use this though before doing a self tan or a spray tan. Use a natural sugar scrub. Just straight up sugar in your hand. Rub it together and exfoliate that way because this does have a lot of oils in it that will come with, go into your skin and then your spray tan won't stick the way it's supposed to. Um, but it's a really good exfoliant if you're not self-tanning because this will ruin your self-tanner and it will stop it from sticking to your skin. So yes, but it smells like fall in a bottle. It's amazing if you are on the pumpkin spice latte kick. And I'm so happy because I love the way it smells. It just like increases my mood and I love it. Next, I have this Laura Mercier blush. This is in the shade Watermelon. I just want to show you. So it's like pink. Is it not picking up? It's pink with a little bit of shimmer in it. And you know that Kylie Jenner blush look that everyone is loving? This has this like beautiful shimmer in it. I'm not sure if you can see it. Just gonna like give you a little look of what it looks like. So I'm wearing an all matte blush right now. It just lets your like natural oils just absorb this blush and then it just gives a super pretty pink blush look. I love it. It is on the pricier side. I got mine from TJ Maxx. 
but it is absolutely stunning like stunning it's called watermelon comes with a mirror Laura Mercier and I absolutely love this blush this is my go-to for September before I apply my blush if I really want makeup to last I apply a cream blush and that is the Beverly Hills by Merit um, I just take a brush dab onto here which is why it's all weird and then I just apply it and then I put my concealer on and then I set it and then I put blush on top of it and my blush has been staying super long because of that and I just love this shade like it looks dark here you know for a cream blush it looks really dark but when you apply it on your face it like lightens up into this beautiful pink just like glowy blush look Merit has uh, it's a very clean makeup brand. The owner actually made this for pregnant women to wear because it has a lot less chemicals in it than other makeup. And I am obsessed with my, I'm obsessed with my Merit foundation brush. I love this thing. I love Merit and this is my favorite Merit foundation brush. But this um, cream blush right here I'm telling you is phenomenal. So. Merit. Other brown cream products, I really have also been into my cream bronzer. This is e.l.f. and this is in the shade Tan Lines. I just kind of dab this on my cheekbones, on my forehead, and it just helps my, bron my bronzer last and it just makes my makeup kind of flow together and just last longer. And so this is super affordable putty bronzer, e.l.f. and the shade Tan Lines. Love this kind of gross up in there. There's like a hair in there. I can't get it out. And I just kind of dab my brush and then just place it on my face. Another product I've been loving is the Morphe Brow Gel. I am wearing it right now. My brows just stay in place. And I just get that little, what's it called, Gen Z brow where I can just brush up my natural brows. And um, so much product, as you can tell, I have barely even tapped into what is all there. And it works so well and a little bit goes a long way and it's super affordable. Love this Morphe Brow Gel. It's called Supreme Brow Clear Sculpting and Shaping Wax. So it's a brow wax. All right, I can't talk about this enough. This is the one size translucent powder. I love this, made in the USA. The only thing I have to say is it does have talc in it, which, you know, which stinks, but it has talc in it, but I'm telling you, like, it's the best setting powder. And then it's so important that if you're setting your under eye with a setting powder that you're able to blow it and get, my dog just came in, and get that perfect cloud of powder. That is how you know you have a really good setting spray, or setting, sorry, setting powder to go underneath your eyes because it's so finely milled. It's just going to set there and stay there and look beautiful underneath your eye. So, one size translucent powder, I'm telling you, it beats Laura Mercier setting powder. So good, it's only $30, get this huge honking product. And no flashback, 14 hour long wear setting powder made with light bake to heavy cake. For a light bake to heavy cake, oh my god, I love it. Um, You get 1.2 ounces of product, which is 34.5 grams. Love it. And the packaging is so cute. So another thing I've really been liking is the Iconic London Illuminator. This is in the shade Original. I like to mix this with my primer. Oh my god, this is so annoying. My favorite primer is currently SPF BFF by Milani, SPF 30. It's so nice. It's so moisturizing. It feels so good in the skin. It has SPF 30. It's everything you possibly could need. The reviews online are crazy good. And personally, I absolutely love it. Um... So, love this. And I've actually been using this a lot and it, there's like so much product in here. So, I like that. Been using this a lot in my Get Ready videos. And then I mix the Iconic London Illuminator in the shade Original with this. And I make my own Luminous SPF Perfect Primer and I put it on my face because this isn't really oily. It just gives you that glow, the shimmer without the oil because I have oilish skin, oilyish skin. So I just like put this together on my skin, put my foundation on top of it, and then perfect combination. So mixing this, you can really mix this with anything. You can put in your moisturizer and put it on your chest to make your decollete more obvious. And 
You can do a lot of things with this. I originally bought this for my bachelorette party for that reason, but I didn't really use it because, you know, just forget about it. But I've been using this more on my face and mixing it with my primer is the perfect combo. Perfect. All right, and last but not least is the That's Taupe palette. I packed this in my bachelorette trip. It has all these pupil... So next I have the That's Taupe palette. I packed this in my bachelorette trip. And it has all these perfect, cool tone, everyday eyeshadows. I wear this every single day to work. I'm a nurse, and I work in the OR, and I do wear makeup. I don't care if my face is covered, and I wear this eyeshadow palette every single day. It's my perfect go-to. Everything blends out beautifully. I mainly use the shades Bay, Petal Beach, and Python, and it's just the perfect palette. This is one of their most sold eyeshadow palettes. And if you can get this at Ulta, you can get this on their website. The packaging is so cute. It has a snake skin packaging. ColourPop kills it, as always, with their affordable eyeshadow palettes. And this is one of my most worn eyeshadow palettes for the month of September. It's natural, you know, that's in style right now, the no makeup makeup look. Even though you know me and you know my channel, I love eyeshadow. But this is the natural eyeshadow palette that I've been using for months of September can't talk. But this is the natural eyeshadow palette that I've been using for the month of September. And that completes my favorites video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, a like, and comment. I'm going to have every product I mentioned linked below, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.